Hello, this is Rosano with episode one of Foundry. This is version 0.4.3. Um, for my solo game, I use 1337, 1337. For my uh, for this playthrough, for my streaming uh, YouTube playthrough, I'm using 1337 three times. This game is in alpha but they don't mind people making videos and stuff and um this game is more like if factorio and satisfactory had a baby but it's more streamlined than satisfactory but 3d like it uh, okay so you start off with all right this is right which is basically like iron so we have to collect uh, 20, we have to collect 150, basically just collect all of it, all of the surface board. This is off the board, but that's where the miners come in. And you can also look at the map. So as you can see, I have some technum ore over here. This is this is basically oil, and there's more xenophorite, and then eventually you'll get to after xenophorite and technum, you'll get to ignium, which you will find about about between 85 and 95 in underground. This is a voxel game, so everything is destructive. But for like for like these, if you collect more from it. It doesn't destroy it. It'll if you scan it. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So you'll see there's 1170 ore left in this block, and there's 987 there. There's 1031 there. So you'll see. Uh, v is for your. It's basically like a tablet. Tablet. It'll show information like there's sand. Um, and if you go over here. This is plant. This is this will yield five biomass. You need biomass in the beginning. It's basically like coal. I don't even think it's coal. I think it's all biomass. And biomass. It's pretty, pretty early on to get uh, research lab. G is for research. Research lab to unlock and start researching. Uh, but you'll, you'll eventually get fairly. are all the structures you get conveyors right away and slopes th those definitely help you get loaders which are basically like inserters and factorio this is your generator you have to feed biomass they stack up to a hundred uh, you get you start with assemblers and smelters and primitive furnace and drone miners the drone miners are what mine these blocks and there's four drone miners at the same time okay so now we need to go over here okay so there's the now, oh, lovely, it's up on a hill. That's going to make it harder. You don't have to jump for, like, single blocks that are higher than you. You just walk right into them, but you can jump. I'm used to right, so we gotta get this. this is basically, like, copper, I guess.
little ones only get three, and these ones only get five. But if you come over here to the trees, each tree gives you 10. So we're gonna need 200 because they only stack it. As you can see at the bottom left, well, kind of left, one, three, two, three, three, three. You get three bars. C opens your crafting and also your inventory. Does I open inventory? No, it does not. Um, you can upgrade your inventory slots. Once you research it, you cannot queue anything. You can, research. You can only research the have mods yet. I don't know if they're going to have mods. I also don't know. I'll have to look up the road map. I don't know if they're going to have any kind of combat slash defense slash attacking or anything. Uh, okay, we need one more three. Alright, uh, so we want primitive furnace. Oh yeah, we need primitive furnace too. So actually we need four. 400 biomass. So we're going to have a generator plus two generators, one for each section of the world. And then uh, two furnaces to make the rods and the plates. Plates of xenoferrite, which is basically the iron. And you make the technum rods out of obviously technum. where my dot is. That kind of looks like a person standing up there. <laughs> Alright, so I have to go to craft a primitive furnaces. So we're going to craft two of those. What does it take for those? It takes the ore. Okay, so I crafted. Okay, now it says build the primitive furnace, which basically means placing. Um, okay, so we're going to go over this way to the xenoferrite. You use a lot more xenoferrite than technum. The technum's up there. Um, okay, so I don't think this requires... Yeah, this, this, the primitive furnace. Okay, so a thing, a thing about um, power, building blocks, and conveyors, I th believe both, will transfer low-grade power, but they have to be connected. Like, like if you have, like if you have, all right, sand. Okay, so if you have this and this together, and if you have power on this block, it'll transfer to this block. However, if you have a block above it, like Pretend this block isn't here because I can't. Well, actually, maybe I can. <laughs> All 
right, so can I can I get rid of this block without? Okay, so if you have, and I've done this many times, if you have two blocks connecting here, and then you have a next block up like this, but no block here, these these will not transmit power, and and which makes sense because you can see the little gap in between. But if you make sure to have your blocks go like this, like in the L shape, like in Tetris, um, then that will transmit power. But most buildings, most early buildings, uh, require power and the generator, the biomass generator, and later the um, solar power can transmit power through building blocks and through conveyors. But for now, let's see. I'm going to put this over here because I'm not going to use it more than once. For now, uh, these blocks require um, these will not require uh, power coming to them. Primitive furnace, you configure it. So we're going to want uh, plates. Okay, so it wants us to craft 40 per ex uh, xenoferrite plates. So basically, you can do this two ways. Uh, you can hit this button here, and, and you just use your mouse button you, to do it. And it, as you can see, it put in all the xenoferrite ore I had. However, that will not put in fuel, so you'll have to manually put fuel in. And it'll just start crafting. And to craft, you just grab them, and it'll add to the inventory. Now, the other one we're going to do, we're going to put the Technum rods over here next to the Technum. i make sure I can go up. Alright, all right, so we'll do that right here. Configure, Technum Rods, add all the stuff I have, and I clearly have more ore, but for some reason it's not putting in the whole entire 100 when I do that button, so I don't know. Um, and then 100 fuel, okay. Alright, oops, I always push escape for windows, to close windows, and that does not happen in this game, you have to exit out. Okay, so we have 34, I need 36, 38 actually, and you can click this button. So the down button is to load, and this button is to take, so I'm going to load that, and then I'm going to take all these. So there's all the, there's the 40 plates. I believe it's going to have us craft, craft the biomass generator next. Load some more. Okay, grab all those. Alright, so now... Okay, now it's actually going to have us do building blocks, okay? So C for crafting. Uh, this gives five building blocks each, so we're going to want one, two, three, four. That'll be 20. I'm going to put this on... Here, you can also right-click in your inventory and do that, or you can hit put it on your hotbar and hit the corresponding number. All right, so we're going to uh, we're going to go right here. So actually, let's see. Take all these. Manage inventory. Take all this out. Hold on a second. F is to switch to demolition mode. When you pick up buildings, it'll give it right back. I'm going to move this back here. Configure, rods, load, manage inventory, shift click for that. Because I want to... The miners take... The miner, the drone miners take four slots. But you're going to want... So, 
There's eight, and I'm just gonna do. There's ten there, and then we're gonna do the same thing over here. The reason why I put it kind of in the middle of the ore is so there's plenty of spots for the miners to um, gather stuff. I'm gonna do this one right. Here. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna do this one right. Here. Alright, so now it wants us to make a drone miner. We're going to need two, so we're going to need more plates. Alright, so let's see here. Load, take. Can I make two drone miners? Yes, one, two. Alright, cool. I don't remember I if the drone miners require electricity. I believe they do, since they want us to put it on a foundation. Drone miner. Okay, so uh, I've I've found that it doesn't really matter where the panels are, but for purposes of maybe later putting a miner here, I'm putting the panel on the outside. All right, so it has no power. So this is where the biomass generator comes in, which I need rods and more stuff. Oh, L is your light. That load that in. How we doing on? Uh, how we doing on? Okay, 93. So the furnaces do not take much in the way of biomass. I need rods to collect because uh, I need craft the um, generator. So we'll take all these. Reload that. All right. Let's see. Generators. Okay, uh, while we're at it, let's put that other miner down here. Alright, craft a, craft a generator. Alright, so we're gonna put this down here because I only really only need it to do it once. You can load the fuel in with that button. Now you see, because this is on the blocks, this is on the blocks. It's transmitting power through blocks to So basically, each drone comes back and brings in one or two at a time. Actually, or is it four? Oh, no, it's four at a time. Okay. So, um, this button for some reason, this machine for some reason doesn't have it. Oh, yeah, it does. That's the take all button. Okay. So there's the take all button. I'm just going to load all that in there. And I'm going to load all this into here. Might as well take all things. And you can put more miners down. How many can I craft more miners? I'm going to craft two more miners. Now, these, these things that look like the worst, these are your input output things. And that's these loaders. You can change, you can toggle them to even put it on. Uh, it wants me to craft a smelter next, which I need plates for. it. Put that down. Load in. And now we will start getting xenoferrite from here. Correct? There we go. And, um, go ahead and play. And if you go, if 
if you put this, see, if you put this down, like right here, it shows there's 54 mineable blocks. So if I were to go, say, in the middle, on top of, there's 97. I'm not sure if that works on underneath or what. But I'm gonna, for now, I'm going to put it right here. And it's already got the power. Uh, one more in there. Take that. Put it in. Take it out. Alright, so now we got to craft a smelter. Smelters are 12 by 4, so you need a lot of blocks. 12 by 4. You need 48 blocks, so this will give me four. This will give me 50 blocks. Um, literally, if I do, you can right-click and do five at a time. So I'm going to do nine because that should give me 40. This should give me enough blocks. It should be 48 blocks. And then we need to craft a loader. It also wants us to craft 20 conveyors. So. Go ahead and take that. That and fuel is 88. That's fine. How much? What do we have for fuel anyway? We have 21. All right, that's fine. No, it doesn't take a lot of fuel. As long as I'm here, though, I'm going to crap. these are infinite worlds but I don't think the underground portion is infinite and there is xenoferrite and technum and I believe other or down underground uh, 87 to 97 or something like that is where the ignium is which is the next ore you need after the surface ore all right so we're gonna do that gonna take all these rods now these can only hold a hundred at a time, so that's basically why you want to um, come back and take everything. By the way, there's no fall damage in this game. Uh, the, if combat becomes a thing in this game, it, uh, I'm sure there'll be fall damage in the future. Uh, let's load and take. All right. So we have 47 blocks. We need one more of those. Okay, so it wants us to craft 20 conveyors. It wants us another loader, too. Okay, so 20 conveyors. This crafts two at a time. So 5, 10. That'll give me 20 conveyors. And it's going to build a smelter on the foundation. Okay, so... Uh, we're going to go ahead and do... Got four, so we're gonna build the smelter this way. So really, now we need to get this the first set. Okay, so this is three, four, so we're gonna go four and then by eight, seven, eight, four by eight. Alright, four by eight is for the smelter. Oops, I keep hitting tab. All right, the smelter will go right. We're going to put the smelter down here, and we're going to put the loaders right here. All right, so for the smelter, you have to make sure it's perfect on... So, since you see the blocks are all connected, uh, this has power. So we're going to configure this to be the plates. Now, for the loader, um, hmm. Now, I don't, if I recall correctly, I don't think, I don't think conveyors need, I'm going to put this right here. And the miner, oh, I don't want to craft a miner. Okay, good. Um, I don't think conveyors need Blocks, however, for assistance and safe transmitting power. that I keep power through multiple sources. So, 
Uh, this is how loaders work. Building. Okay, so see the slot that says building? You want to make sure that's inside the building. Alright, so this says intake. We want this to be an outtake. Uh, intake? Nope. Uh, toggle output. Yeah, we want this to be an output. Alright, so... Then we're going to go like this. And then for number four, I'm going to put that in. Number four is my slot. Okay, now this is an intake. That's what we want. Now, I could have just gone like this, but for demonstration purposes. I'll show you that it, all, it automatically makes the curve for you. And now, this is not configured yet, so it won't do anything. So, or is it configured? Okay, it is configured, so... There we go. It's automatically transmitting the ore from this one to that one. And you have multiple inputs and outputs. Multiple input output slots. Like this has them all the way around. So you could have potentially uh, 8, 16, and 24 stuff, things being inputted and outputted and taken. Now, and these have also uh, 4, 8, Obviously, you can work a lot of side to side, but uh, anyway, we're, we're going to want um, more plates. We might need a second smelter. Now, it does want us to do a research lab. Uh, can I do that? Can I do a research lab? I cannot. I need plates, and I need to get some of this again. Uh, you can also. If I craft the research lab, then it'll unlock high voltage energy. And, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I kind of want the research lab over here, so let's see. Let's get rid of. Structure is blocked by vegetation. Okay. There we go. Alright, so I kind of wanted it in between. Like maybe right here in between the blocks, but you know what? Maybe I will do that. Uh, let's make sure. Yeah, oh yeah, you have to add stuff to this. So is it F? No. E? Have to do it on the... Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> so you got to add plates. We have six machinery parts. We don't have enough wire coils. We don't have enough. Okay, so but anyway, uh, let me take those plates back. I'm going to pick this up. But anyway, um, we're going to put the research lab right here. So let's 
get rid of vegetation that was in the way. Which gives us more uh, biomass anyway. Okay, uh, let's see if I have room. Okay. Uh, now we have room. Alright, so we go to this. And, okay, so it does need 100 wire coils. So let's add the 66 we have. Um, let's add the 102 plates that we have. Machinery parts. Okay, machinery parts take plates. And the wire coils take the rods. So we need 25, 66, 76, 86, 87, 88, 89, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Okay, there we go. That's enough of those. keep jumping. I keep forgetting it just goes up automatically. Alright, so we're going to come over here. We're going to grab all of these. We're going to... Oh, and I th I think because these were these were paused because the, their contents were full, I believe they don't draw power, so that's why this is still, was still at 96. Um, this is still has 88 fuel, so I believe... Yeah, the fuel is paused because uh, it can't make any more rods. So let's go ahead and put that in. Um, let's see, can I make a smelter? No. Right, so we're going to go ahead and grab these. Grab these. So put that in. Put that in. Whee! Alright. Manage inventory. Okay, so. The wire coils, okay, did I not do enough? All right, so I need six more wire coils, right? They give two each, two, four, six. There we go, eight, 10, 12. Okay, so let's put that in, does that work? Why am I not doing the right amount of wire coils? I saw I had 12. Oh, I needed 14, okay. So now we need machinery parts. Um, that takes plates. And then we need plates itself. Oh, I need to put a pillow under my mouse hand. <laughs> my wrist starts hurting if my if it's not supported properly. So uh, desktop audio is desktop audio a thing? Okay, good. Just making sure because I had I had mass problems with my audio and microphone not working at the same time. Why, why do I want to? Why can't I? Move it? Why do I mention it's new? Because that means I'm getting I'm fasting. I do intermittent, intermittent fasting from 8 p.m. at night to 12 p.m. the next day. And then I'm losing a little bit of weight. Research lab. Manage inventory. Add plates. 
add machinery parts, finish construction. All right, so now uh, this says, now that it's finished, it unlocked hydro voltage energy and science packs. So now you can see, and under structures, now you can see solar panels and power poles. So for me, the first thing I want to research is batteries. Now, to do that, I need to craft myself several science packs. We need technum rods and machinery parts. We have technum rods, but each one takes eight technum rods. So what the best thing to do would be to get some more plates and make a smelter to make the technum rods so we can get rid of the other one. Um, where's my... Let's see. This way, yeah. So this one... Oh, I just realized the tasks. I, I said I was sitting here and saying I want to research battery first, but the tasks are telling me to do that. <laughs> I forgot it. All right, so, huh? Oh, thanks. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna put. Three, four, so let's see. So that's one, two, three, four, five. We need three more. This is right. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I need one more row. One more row of four. Oops. I forgot to do that. Okay. And then the second smelter. Just gotta put it okay, rotate it, obviously. Is that right? and uh, let's go ahead and take these out and insert them to there take out the rods alright so uh, let's
configured. Machinery parts. What are machinery parts made out of? The plates. So I need plates because I used quite a few making those. Okay, making those, um, the smelter and stuff. So let's go ahead and take the plates up here. Those are going to be stacked with it. I would make a assembler about right here and have it feed the rods and the plates into well the machinery parts and the plates. Right, you need plates? Yeah, no rods and rods and machinery parts. So we would have two assemblers, one to make machinery parts and one to make the sides of that. Oh yeah, I gotta start. Oh no, I didn't start research. Okay, so let's go ahead and just deposit all we have. Sixteen percent. That means we have what four. A lot of grinding in this game, especially in the beginning. show your your research queue at the top right but for some reason tasks is over that so let's go ahead and deposit all of those so uh i can't tell exactly what i need uh 36 percent i'm guessing well, 33 would be 10, so I guess there's 11 in there. 12? I don't know. Each one gives 5%. That's odd. <laughs> Oops. Um... No, 4%. Each one gives 4%. So I've got 15 in there. So I need 15 more, and I'm crafting 15 more. 
All right, that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, keep watch for part two, episode two, probably tomorrow, maybe later today, I don't know. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next one.